Howdy y'all, welcome to tonight's What's for Dinner. I'm gonna be making a chis <laughs> a chicken and biscuit casserole, or at least that's what I'm calling it. I am starting out with three chicken breasts. I just put them in a pan with some water and I added just a little bit of this chicken bouillon powder just for a little more flavoring. And I'm going to boil this chicken until it's done. Or if you don't wanna do this, you could buy a rotisserie chicken and go ahead and shred it up. Okay, y'all, once the chicken is done, you're gonna wanna remove it onto a plate or something and just start shredding it up. And I ended up getting some forks and just shredding them that way. You could use a mixer, like if you have a KitchenAid or even a stand mixer, that makes it very easy, but I was too lazy. I didn't wanna pull that out and have to clean it up. So I'm just using a couple of forks and I'm gonna shred all this chicken up. Okay, now we have all of our chicken shredded up good, and we are gonna get a frying pan. And I just had it on about probably medium heat, and I'm gonna add all of that chicken into my frying pan. And we're gonna season this up a little bit too, or that's what I decided to do. By the way, I found this on TikTok, and um, it just sounded interesting to me. So I thought I would um, do this. I'm adding in about probably a maybe a quarter to a half of, um, of an onion that I diced up. I would recommend maybe cooking the onion first before adding in the chicken because it was still a little bit crunchy and so my kids kind of made some comments on that. I'm going ahead and I'm adding in some onion powder, some garlic powder. I'm out of my 21 seasoning salute, so I'm using this everything but the leftover seasoning that came from Trader Joe's. And then we'll add, if I didn't already say, we're gonna add some salt and pepper too. You're also gonna wanna have two cans of cream of chicken soup. So we're gonna go ahead and add that into our meat mixture. And after you do that, you're gonna want to add in, if I can speak y'all, um, you're gonna get an eight ounce block of cream cheese. And I tried to cut it into little pieces and just kind of put it in there. And so anyways, you're gonna put that in And once you get that in there, you're just gonna want to start stirring it up and try to melt the cream cheese, warm up that cream of chicken, and just get it all mixed together very well. Okay, you're gonna see me adding in some liquid. What I did was I took some of that broth from the chicken and I'm adding it in because it seemed like it was getting a little too thick. If you don't have chicken broth, probably a little water would work. Um, and then I'm using this ranch seasoning mix. Um, I have the bottle or whatever of it instead of the packages. And I was putting in a couple of teaspoons. Um, later, I came along and added more. I think probably two to three teaspoons would be enough because I came back and added probably two or three more and it was just a little bit overpowering with the ranch seasoning. So I would recommend just a couple teaspoons. Um, one thing that I forgot to put in that I will tell you in a little while about is um, you're supposed to have some of the real bacon pieces. You can buy them at Walmart over by the salad stuff. You need to add in a half of a package, one of the small packages of those real bacon pieces, which I forgot. I ended up um, putting it in the oven and everything and realizing it. So I had them on the table if anyone wanted to add them, but I think it would have been much better had I added it in right now like I was supposed to. So don't forget that part. Okay, y'all, the next thing you're gonna need is a can of biscuits. I'm using the Butter Tasting uh, Grand's biscuits, and you're gonna just wanna open those up and you're gonna, oh, why can't I not speak, y'all? Every time I do voiceovers, this is what happens. But you're gonna wanna take your biscuits and start cutting those into, um, it said into quarters, but I felt like that was too big. So I went back later and cut them a little bit smaller. Okay, now you're gonna wanna get a nine by 13 inch casserole pan and spray it with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. And then you're gonna take your chicken mixture and you're going to put that into your pan, just spread it out evenly along the bottom of it. 
and then you're gonna take some shredded cheese and you're gonna sprinkle that over the top of this mixture. Um, I just used mild cheddar cheese, but you could use you know, whatever type of cheese I guess that you like. Then you're gonna take your cut up biscuits and you're just gonna start laying them in a single layer over the top of your meat and cheese mixture. And then you're gonna sprinkle some more cheese over the top of these biscuits. Um, and I ended up cooking, let's see, I had my oven preheated to 375 and I think I cooked this for about 20 minutes or so. Um, basically you want to cook it until the biscuits are done and my biscuits look done they were browned but there were a few that were a little bit gummy I just realized I forgot something y'all you're supposed to put half a bag of these real bacon pieces into your meat mixture and I forgot and I've already put it in the oven with everything so I'm just gonna have these and we can mix them in after it's done so make sure to add these in and I'll put a notation in the video about this. Hi, Lordy. Okay, y'all, here it is. And I also cut up a little bit of lettuce and tomatoes, cucumbers, and then we have some stuff to go with the salad. And then there's those bacon pieces that were supposed to go in it. And we're gonna sit down and try it and we'll let you know what we think. All right, Adrian, what do you think of it? It's really good, but the onions, I don't know. Oh, the onions weren't all the way cooked. I and noticed that. Onions? Yeah, they're a little bit crispy in there. They didn't cook all the way. What do you think? Brock has a headache, so his eyes, the light's bothering his eyes. It's good. Good? There There's was a bit of doughy pieces in there still. Yeah, some of the bigger pieces. And it might have used a little bit less ranch because yeah. it was a bit strong. But other than that, it was good. I agree about the ranch, too. Okay, <clears throat> Courtney, oops, she was taking a nap. What do you think? I like it. Good? Yep. I think it's pretty good, too, and I went ahead. I think it would have been real good if I'd remembered to add the bacon pieces. I think it would have been good with, like, some green onions in it. Oh, yeah, green onions would have been good. Mm -hmm. Now I actually have some. I didn't right. think about it. But, Just to get okay. Some or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All righty, y'all. Hey, y'all, welcome to tonight's What's For for dinner <laughs> we're going to be making baked potatoes in my instant pot and we're also going to be making barbecue ground beef so i have put one cup of water into my instant pot and then i have five um russet potatoes that i have scrubbed and cleaned and now i'm just going to poke a couple of holes with a fork in there and then we're going to arrange those into the instant pot Okay, once I get the lid on it, I'm going to make sure it's on high pressure. And I always press the wrong buttons, but you want it on high pressure for 15 minutes and then just let it natural release, um, which I think I let it natural release for about 10 minutes and then they were perfect. Okay, so in the meantime, I have two pounds of ground beef in a frying pan and I'm adding about um, one whole onion that I've diced up and we're going to also add in um, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper a little bit of garlic powder and I went ahead and threw in some onion powder also that's just something I always like to do when I'm browning my meat okay once our meat is done if there's any grease you might want to go ahead and strain it um, and then you're gonna add in one cup of ketchup You're also gonna wanna put in a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And then you're also gonna wanna put in a fourth a cup of vinegar. You're also gonna need some mustard. You're gonna need a fourth of a teaspoon of mustard, followed by, my favorite word, not really, <laughs> a fourth a teaspoon of the W sauce or the Worc Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. Shire. Anyways, then you're going to mix this all up together, mix it really well, and you're going to want to let this simmer on low for about 20 minutes. All right, in the meantime, our potatoes are done. So I'm going to take them out of the Instant Pot and just set those to the side. 
and then we're gonna start getting ready to eat. Potatoes, the cheese, green onions. I made some cheesy Texas garlic toast. Yes, she did. And this is the completed meat. And All right, time for reactions. Courtney, she didn't eat any meat, but she put A1 on her potato. <laughs> so was your potato good? The meat is good, girl. I know. Bryce, what did you think of the food and it the meat? It was really good. See, he mixed it. I put his. meat on the, on the bread um, for some of it, and I put some of the meat that fell off in here with the potato, too. It's good, right? It's good. I like it. Yep. My bread is really good, too. <laughs> Okay, Adrian, mm -hmm. how do you like it? It's good. It is. It is indeed. Cheesy bread too, it's mm -hmm. good stuff. I added meat in with mine. This kind of looks, <laughs> probably not appetizing to y'all, but it was good and easy. Mine's very appetizing to y'all, it looks so good. <laughs> Bryce is going to prom on Saturday. She's like, why are you telling everybody? <laughs> Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I ended up, um, usually I try to do three meals a week, but what we did was we took the leftover barbecue beef and we made quesadillas, just in my quesadilla maker. That's what we had for supper the next night. So I'm sorry I didn't show that to you, um, I forgot. And so anyways, but thank y'all so much for watching and in case you haven't seen, I did post a video on Wednesday, it was a um, grocery haul along with kind of an update of where I've been. So if you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out. And I just wanna thank all of y'all for watching and I hope y'all have a great weekend.